that's what I'm smoking right now. So McBaron HH Acadian Perique. Pretty good tobacco. Let me read what it says on the back of the tin. This blend includes Virginia's Burley's original Cavendish, dark fired Kentucky, Orientals, and of course, a fair amount of Acadian Perique. This blend gives you no tongue bite and will smoke dry to the bottom, leaving only gray ashes. Like all HH blends, it has only the absolute minimum amount of casing and no top flavor at all. The taste comes from the leaf itself. <clears throat> and it is a very, very good smoking tobacco. I cannot say that I have had tongue bite from it. Of course, I don't get tongue bite much anymore. Um, every once in a while you do, but that's, I'm an aggressive smoker. I, I puff and puff and puff. I, um, I like the taste of it, so I smoke it. But, um, but you do get more flavor if you slow down on a lot of blends. But a lot of the blends that I smoke, you are able to um, just suck down on it and pull pretty hard on it. Um, my Nearup, Nearup Classic. Beautiful, wonderful pipe. Excellent pipe. So, that being the intro, I am the Bearded Tamper, and welcome back. Welcome to another episode of Tamper Talk. This is the tamper that I am currently using right now. Um, kind of a weird shaped tamper. I, it's not what I was going for. I made it shorter than what I wanted. So it really just turned out to be crap. <laughs> no way I could uh, put this out in public. But it does work. So, but um, I believe this to be ironwood. I'm not exactly sure, but it's super hard wood. That's not the shape I was going for. This is the shape I was going for. The style, rather. Just kind of a, just a plain tamper, you know? Oh, that sun's coming through the window. But just, just a plain, boy. <laughs> kind of hard to see with that cabinet in the background. Anyway. Yeah, so, you know, it's big difference, huh? <laughs> big difference. Yeah, so just uh, kind of kind of looks like, um, you know, I don't know, like a big tooth. I like it. I call the other tampers a dragon claw. And this one, I don't know, maybe saber tooth. So that's, that's the style I was going for on that. And, of course, got some more uh, deer antler with a walnut and a uh, Osage orange foot on it. Osage orange is extremely dense wood. You never have to worry about that burning out. <clears throat> I got a couple pipes made from Osage orange, and they I've had no issues. One I've smoked quite a bit no issues out of it whatsoever. Well, that sun is really just destroying the shot. Sorry about that, folks. And, um, got some cherry on top. Cherry on top. <laughs> cherry on top, shout out. Go check out Cherry on Top's channel. Some cherry wood. I am so sorry, guys. I didn't anticipate the sun being like that. Osage orange and then some ironwood and the ironwood also is very dense wood and um, There we go No, I need I get it right there 
Can you see it? <laughs> Yeah, but so these two, or three rather, were finished by hand. I wasn't able to uh, to put them on the lathe. I think I did this one on the lathe um, just to uh, just to kind of round it out quicker. But these I, I was not able to do on the lathe. They were essentially just little pieces that I that I stuck together, epoxied together. I got a a screw, a set screw or an inset screw inside, and then I epoxy them together to where they're not gonna come apart. I have no worries about that anyways. And then the Dragon Claw series. You know, just got a big elongated dottle pick. Give me just a second. This sun's really killing it. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I have, I'm down in the uh, in the winter hole, the smoking room, down in the basement. It was a bedroom, and then it was a storage room, and um, it was a smoking room, but it was just kind of a corner that I had carved out to smoke in. Um, but now, everything's out, and it's. It's the smoking room now. But anyway, so back to the tampers. So this is the Dragon Claw series. And it's got the, uh, you know, the ribs on it. And then the elongated tamper. And then a pronounced foot, almost like, a, like an elephant's foot. Osage orange. Beautiful, beautiful wood. I love this wood. And that's pretty much all these are. Are just, you know, I don't know how I can do this. I don't want to show them all individually. That would take forever. But we got, um, let's see, what do we got here? Some of this wood, I'm not exactly sure what it is because it's not marked. But it's it's dense wood, you know, it's hard wood. So there's no fear ever, you know, of it charring or, or getting, you know, burnt or anything. But, um, you know, this is some, some pretty, pretty hard stuff. And I've got some decorative lines in it and then pronounced foot you know some of them I uh, concave at the bottom and then some of them I just drag out you know you can see the difference there but some more Osage orange but Osage orange looks bright on the camera But they're all, all pretty much, I said I wasn't going to show them <laughs> individually, but here we go. You know, and these are, um, I don't know, four to five and a half inches. And that's just, that's just the classic Dragon Claw series. I guess I'm calling it, well, I don't guess. That's what I'm calling it because I just called it that. And then we still got some the dragon claw well not necessarily dragon claw but with the shell casing I guess it could be classified as a dragon claw series but with the shell casing on it I got one's uh, what is that a 45 45 auto and the stainless steel casing it's pretty cool then I've also got some of these smaller ones these are about three and a half inches three to three and a half This one is uh, rosewood, and that is some hard stuff. And a little Osage Orange pocket tamper. And this one, I don't know if you can see it. Ah, that light. 
right there. You see the see the little little check, little crack in it. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't affect the functionality of it. It's character. A little pocket tampers, and then we've still got some uh, some bone, you know, bone walnut osage orange, and then some osage orange or not bone. I'm sorry, antler. I guess it's still kind of bone, but like this one. This one reminds me of an ore. Hmm. I don't know if you guys saw that. Camera was a little glitchy. Anyway, and the other little. Now these I had to do freehand too. Couldn't do them on the lathe for whatever reason. And then I've got a little box here of kind of shop seconds. I'll bring the camera down here a little bit. Just some shop seconds for whatever reason. You know, some imperfections came out. It just didn't work right. This was the first time I tried to get a casing directly on an antler. And it just didn't, it didn't marry well. It's not seamless. And then trying to do a metal stainless steel uh, on the bottom. It didn't marry well either. And I'm almost thinking about using this one because it's not it's not married at all very well down there. It's not seamless, you know. I don't like that. It needs to be needs to be seamless, you know, like it's all one piece. And it's not. I don't you probably won't be able to pick that up on camera. I mean, it still functions perfectly and it's got it's got weight. You know, it's pretty weighty. And this one, I got too thin on the neck, I think. And it's got to be careful with it. I'm afraid it might break or something. Try to get that. See? But it's an Osage Orange, some White Oak, a Walnut, and then Osage Orange tip. Try to put the Osage Orange at the tip or some dense, really dense wood. That way you don't ever have to worry about it burning out. And then, like here, you can see where I, how I do this. You know, I drill in and I, and I, you know, set it with a screw and then I epoxy it. The screw, the epoxy will hold, you know, I mean, it, if, if you do anything, you know, you can break it. You can break anything if you want to. But it's pretty strong with the epoxy. But I just, I put, you know, just a little screw in there anyways, just to uh, give that extra support. But I pre-drill the holes, and I pre-drilled that one too far up in there. And, um, and when I made the dotle pick, you know, the hole came through. So... And then plus, it's cracked a little bit. I don't know if you can see that with the glare. But it's antler, uh, deer antler. Um, and I believe this is um, a cherry wood and then Osage orange. But I like the color contrast on that one. A deer antler is not the easiest thing in the world to turn on a lay that will dull your tool. Your knife will be uh, pretty dull after, <laughs> after you're done. And the same with this. I like this one. It's got the angled seam on it. Pretty neat. But, but I also got into it. My pre-drill, the top and the bottom. I don't know. I don't know what I was saying on that. But again, you know, there's a screw in there and it's set. So it's not going anywhere. And then I just kind of filled the hole, you know, with like some wood glue and some dust of the same wood. But it comes out different colors, but character, if you want to call it that. 
and then this one. I had anticipated it's two different antler that were two different color. Um, and I anticipated it coming out two different colors, but it didn't. But, uh, and it come out pretty thin, so it's a little pencil. You know, it'd be for a little, little bowl. Um, you know, it's, it's a fairly thin one, but I just, I'm counting it as a, as a shop second. And then these little fellas, these are little itty bitty. They come out too small, but I spent the time turning them, so I didn't want to waste them. And these I just throw in, throw in for free <laughs> if you buy a tamper. So that's the tampers that I have available. Those are the tampers I've been working on. Um, I do, I do still, you know, do commissions, whatever. Um, if you want one, if you want a, uh, if you want a dragon claw, you know, with the casing on it, uh, Colt 45, 45 Colt casing on it, you know, we can, we can do that, put it on there and whatever. You just want a classic Dragon Claw series. That's fine. Let me know. Hit me up. Um, all right. I think that'll do. I'm going to get back to my, um, Acadian Perique and, um, have a day. All right, y'all. Thank you. Um, appreciate your time and God bless.